Yo, what is going on? You Beatles for brunch having Bulbasaur. Baby Blounds is back. That's right. It just took down a huge tournament the other day, actually beating me in the finals. I was playing some Mad Party, but that's not the big news for today. The big news for today is that Baby Blounds is back. There was actually two of them in top eight. I don't know if they met in top four or not. There's also a Templar on that side of the bracket. I didn't check which was which, but they ended up winning with the Baby Blounds. And, uh, I mean, that's kind of it. It's Baby Blounds. We've seen it before. We're seeing it again. Um, nothing really to say. The main attacker, the Blown. Shout out to Drewster, who ended up taking down the whole tournament. This is their list. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to rock it and see how it feels. Uh, they play the Cramorant in here. I was kind of like a closer to chase down, like, the Dene's in the, uh, in the late game. Or even mid game, I guess you could use it in the mid game as well. Uh, just kind of depends on the situation, I guess, overall. But yeah, the Cramorant in here. There's no Zigzagoon, so you can't, like, KO or Choreos or Crobats. But yeah, the Dene's is the target or you could be like aggressive about like hitting adp early on even if you want to do something like that i guess that would also be a a thing to do um crow back to today of course the zation back in here as well build up that hand while you're waiting to get those big one hit ko's mew in here to protect the bench of course from uh, tag bolt rapid strike stuff like that and then of course you know heavy on the fire energy 17 fires the hearths the crystals of retrieval um so it's baby blounds it's back Let's go ahead and get into some games. Make sure you go check out PokemonCard.io. I upload all of my deck lists over there, and so do a bunch of other people. So there's a bunch of deck lists over there for you guys to take a look at, check out, find a new deck to play with. Check it out, PokemonCard.io. Link in the description, as well as there's a link in there uh, in the description to like my page where I upload all of my decks over there on PokemonCard.io. So check that out, and let's go ahead and let's play some Baby Bonds. All right, here we go. Getting into our first one. Just waiting on our opponent to flip the coin. Uh uh or lose the coin flip and the okay there we go they lost they won we lost and we're going first but that's fine let's see what we draw i mean just no basics mulligan send it all back that's fine uh i bet we see the metal deck box metal deck box i'm gonna predict luke metal or adp's age not adp's age yes adp's age. um is what my opponent's playing open a blown take a second to see what uh is going on here wait for the flip Luke Metal, it is. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... I don't really have to play the Ripple. I do kind of want to play it, though, to find a Jirachi. Perfect. If we do get Marnied, I kind of want a... Yeah, because if I get Marnied, I want, have a... I want to have a Jirachi in play. I would rather have a Jirachi in play than not have a Jirachi in play if I get Marnied. So, up against the good old uh, Luke Metal, which is a good matchup. It's a good matchup. Good matchup for us. Um... They do have the coding energies, which can be annoying, but besides that, they don't really have a whole ton going on that can really help them out enough to really get them into the game. Um, if they whiff coatings early, that's it. That's It's just kind of over. Ooh, Crushing Hammer. All right, sure. Tails, love to see it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. They got their Zacian out here. Luke Metal, of course, in the active. Here comes a Saucer. Do they have... Okay, they. yeah, there's that Marnie I was talking about. So that's why we want the Jirachi in play, because if we get, like, Switch, um, we want to use a Stellar Wish. We can do that now. Otherwise, it would have been, like... We could have done it... I mean, one of you know what I'm saying. All right, here we go. Another Luke Metal. So there's two Luke Metals in play. So theoretically, we can just go KO Luke Metal, KO Luke Metal at this point. I might hard retreat. Um, huh. We can get off a Stellar Wish here. It's better to have the Jirachi in the active as well. Actually, I'm going to hearth as well first. I'm going to hearth away the Jirachi because it doesn't look like they're going to be able to KO this Jirachi next turn. Um, also, having energy in the discard pile isn't bad because it does mean... Uh, having energy in the discard pile isn't bad because then we can fire crystal or energy retrieval for those energy oops and yeah intrepid sword i don't think there was a real good reason to play this quick ball so i didn't play it um yeah that we can like now i could like if they marnie me now i can also fire crystal or energy retrieval to get these energies out of the discard pile of course we have less energy in play on our blown which we also need but this is also like reasonable as well um and i would like to actually start getting knockouts as soon as possible because we want to get as many knockouts as possible before they find as many coding energy as possible because once they get a ton of coding energy in play then it gets quite a bit harder to be honest and here's this doll up into the active which is really annoying as well we could sit here and wait until we find our boss's orders um that could be a while though i mean with our current hand <laughs> that doesn't seem like the worst line for us to take ever i want to wait and see what our opponent has it's also possible they don't play coding some people don't play the coding energy i've been an advocate of no coding before in the past um I don't know how many stadiums they play, so I want to keep my stadium around. I think I'll be comfortable giving up one more energy here. I don't want to run out of energy, because once the coatings get in play, that's definitely something that can happen, is we can start to run out of energy. There's a net. Um, I don't mind putting down a third blown. 
attach intrepid sword once again we know they have a marnie in hand so we know we're getting marnie this turn um maybe i should have put a second uh jirachi in play to be honest i could have quick ball for a jirachi gotten rid of the hearth would look like the best target but um here's another crushing hammer maybe i shouldn't have attached because i do know they play crushing hammer so that's another energy gone um, i don't like the idea of losing energy there's not a coding i was like oh there's the coding nope not the coding i also don't know if my boss is in the deck so waiting around for boss might not be a reasonable game plan but i it otherwise it is <laughs> like if we do know the boss is in the deck then it's a pretty reasonable game plan to wait around for boss to be honest got the weather cram cram is another thing we could start to use early on and just start doing damage but all the cram damage can be cleaned up by mount lana i'm not a huge fan of the cram um because of that i think waiting around for boss would be fine uh, or will be fine we'll just kind of have to wait around for it don't want to give up the cramp i'm gonna give up my hearth here and we'll check for boss here it is in the deck so waiting around for it is like fine fine uh move to make that's here split up the energy stellar wish grab the fire crystal because we do have quite a bit of energy in the discard pile now and then intrepid sword there's the boss so next turn we can make a big play where we boss knock out this loot metal and then kind of go from there our opponent could also make a play here where they boss ko my blown with the three, two energy on it which would be annoying also i didn't put three energy on this blown because of that because i could boss knock it out now this does mean they could get a crutching hammer heads and now all of a sudden i can't use boss with this blown but i'm kind of fine with that trade-off to be honest like i'm like okay with that so it's just not that big like if they have that play that's fine then i can go well or just ko whatever their active is and we'll just kind of go from there um yeah if it happens it happens like i'm not like gonna be too beat up about it and i'm like oh that sucks but i guess we'll survive you know here comes guzman hollow so we know they play a stadium card because they do play the guzman hollow in here i guess i should have assumed they played guzman hollow because of the capture energy whenever you play the capture energy you play guzman hollow so i should have assumed they played guzman hollow which means i should have assumed they play swell or power plant which means i maybe should have kept that other stadium around because there is that kind of connection you can kind of feed off of there it's like okay they play capture which means they play guzman hollow which means this which means that which means hey which means, uh, you know what i'm saying um we still get the knockout here on this luke metal so i will bump their stadium we have one hearth left that we can get into play still uh so i wish another fire crystal for later perfect play one of them energy hatch boss up their luke metal and we're gonna do 300 damage to it which ko's it which i mean it, that's good that's good I might even bench this Oracorio now because I'm not afraid of them chasing Oracorio. They really can't afford to chase my Oracorio. But if they do Marnie me next turn, I do want to be able to draw some extra cards. So this kind of works out pretty well. Yeah. Goodbye, Luke Metal. Uh, goodbye. We got a fire. We got a Jirachi. We got a fire. <laughs> we do need a lot of fire, especially if they start hitting those coding energies. Like if they start hitting those coding energies, um, we do need. Although they did, you know what they did do? They did Guzma and Hollow last turn and not get a coding energy. I don't think they play coding energy or they're all prized they, sometimes with the guzman hollow build they play like two coding energy which is like a kind of reasonable oh second swell all right which is kind of reasonable to be honest because you just don't need it um so i could blazer or i could intrepid sword i think i'll intrepid sword here because like, my hand is not great um yeah they had a they whiffed energy i think there so go attach intrepid makes a little bit more sense i could retreat this but then i actually lose two energy which like i don't mind the blown getting ko'd but if I retreat, I lose two energy. I guess I keep one extra energy in play, though. So I could have retreat Seller Wish there. Um, I'm not, like, that concerned with that play, to be honest. It's, like, okay. But we kind of just wait until we draw into a net plus Mewtwo to put Boss on top. And they'll be like, all right. We got Boss. Better do something. They're like, oh, no. This guy's got Boss. And then we kind of just win the game. So, But they're attacking with Luke Metal here, which means we only need a Fire Crystal. Oh, my. We still only need a Fire Crystal on energy to close this out. They maybe find uh crushing hammer here which means you would need a welder as well so we'll wait and see if they get the, that as well we got the welder though we got the <laughs> hey we got everything and that should be game uh no coding hang on let's just take a check all right let's see basic energy capture energy that's not a coding energy oh wait this bond is stuck in the active huh i didn't even realize that's what was going to happen there all right welder to our active if we just get an energy didn't so I mean I'm, now I, I don't think they play power plant if they play double swell so I could throw this out to get this out of my deck I'm gonna really regret that if they do play a power plant I could have also weldered here theoretically or could have weldered one active oh you know what I should have done well do that much either 
I'm just gonna trap its sword. I could have welded to the bench and tried to hit a switch card. I welded to the active because it's more likely I hit an energy than a switch card, I think. Maybe it's close, actually. We had like six switch cards or oh, seven switch cards left and a less fire. But we could have got a retrieval or another crystal. Okay, so there's more energy left than switch cards. So it was correct to welder to the active because we had more outs to that. I think we could actually still retreat, sell a wish into a fire crystal, and then still win. I guess we could go for that. Okay, there we go. All right, so we still win. Uh, <laughs> it took me a little bit to come up with a... So it's correct to weld our active. And then if we get a switch card, we can hard retreat, try and get a fire crystal, and then win that way. Okay, so that's... I did play it correctly. I didn't see the full line and reasoning why my play was correct, but it was correct. And we end up with the dub here. Back-to-back -back KOs on their Luke medals. And, uh, I mean, this was always going to be an easy matchup, especially because it looks like they don't play the coding energy. Um, which, to be honest, I don't blame them for. I'm not a huge fan of coding... In, or I've never always been, I haven't always been a huge fan of coding. Loop. Anyways, let's get to the next one. All right, here we go. Our opponent won the coin flip and they're choosing to go first, which is fine with us. We probably won't get off a super aggressive start here. We usually don't like baby lounge. I mean, let's say they have like something really small they're active or like something like a Zacian, something weak to fire. Otherwise, it's hard to get like a really big fireball circus turn one. But depending on what they start, we might go for a little bit more aggressive of a line. Um, we'll see. And depending on what they're playing, of course, uh, looks like it is a Eternatus. So we're going to probably playing it pretty slow here off the start. Get our station out, draw some cards, uh, use some welders, draw some cards. Comes a Goonping on our Jirachi. Rather rude. It's fine. Um, so yeah, we're just going to try and draw cards here. I think another Goonping. I wonder if they could donk my Jirachi. I guess it's technically possible for them to donk my Jirachi. They could go like Goon, Goon, Goon. Net, net, good crowbat, more nets. Um, unlikely for sure. And they would also have to be playing net Eternatus, which is not very common anymore because it's not very good. So, uh, pr probably pretty unlikely that that happens. But it, it, the thought crossed my mind the first two goons come down, and you're like, well, I only have 70 HP, so you could start to get a little bit nervous. But, um, we should be good here. Yeah, send up their Eternatus. Of course, knocking out this Eternatus turn one would be huge. I would love to do it. However, it's very unlikely to happen and they'll probably even they put this dark city in place so they'll probably even retreat to a zigzagoo and just be like well i don't want my turn to get knocked out turn one they don't know what i'm playing yet um so i can definitely be playing a deck that could knock this out turn one so i'm sure they'll retreat um just to be safe i guess they could not but i would bet that they would retreat it makes sense yeah there's the retreat i don't think we want to like use a blown to ko a goon but that wouldn't be terrible it would like it depends on what we draw off the welder i think it depends how good our hand looks So we're only weathering for one off the rip, so the hand doesn't look that good. The Jirachi down is great. Kramer and Snipe on that would have been good as well. Maybe I should could have gone for that. That would have been really good, actually, to be honest. Yeah, maybe messed that one up. Um, Don't have access to a ton of energy. Definitely want a Zacian. I don't want a quick ball away. Yeah, Kramer sniping this off the start actually would have been pretty good. I probably should have played for that. I could have gone like... Man, we had a little bit of an awkward hand. Um, follow the energy. We could just attach this here. It's gonna be really hard to get a one hit KO on this next turn, but we could just hit it and then hit it. That's also fine. So, I'm thinking about quick balling the cramp. I definitely need to get something. I just want to celebrate first, see if we just get a dead card. But that's a hearth that actually works out pretty well because now we can go. Hearth works out really well here because I don't want to lose the cram because cram still seems kind of cool. Get two energy. Um, attach, quick ball the other energy, set some energy in this card. Now, I could grab Zation, or I could actually grab Mewtwo and put a Welder on top, um, which I kind of like a little bit better, to be honest, because I almost ex like to play around Marnie, just really good. And Turntus usually plays for Marnie, so playing around Marnie is usually a pretty good deal. But yeah, we can just two hit KO this first Eternatus with back to back Blounds. I think it's going to be our game plan here. Uh, play around the Marnie, put a Welder on top, because like if we Zation for three, that's three cards. I mean, I guess, like, we would like to Zacian and Weld, or, like, get Marnie, then we Weld her. But if we don't get Marnie, then we have Zacian and Weld her. That would be better, obviously. But I'd rather just play around the Marnie and just go about it that route. Yeah, we probably won't, like I said, we won't KO this turn, just this turn most likely. Probably just going to try and hit it as hard as we possibly can and just be okay with that. Because that should just be fine, to be honest. But we'll see. Maybe they get stuck. Maybe this Zigzagoon gets stuck. Uh, we did get rid of their Dark City, so they do need another Dark City or Switch. Uh, once again, I'm scared of... <laughs> it crosses my mind. What if they are playing the net build? And they just say, KO my uh, 
by Jirachi here. If they just knock it out, it would be a little bit annoying. Go after the Blound, though. Makes sense. That is going to be my next attacker. I guess we could get... This could get Boss knocked out, which would actually be really, really bad. It would make me wish I had gone with the Zacian instead of the Mewtwo, to be honest. <clears throat> but in my head, I'm like, okay, if they Marnie us, okay, there's the Dark City. Please don't have a Boss in that hand. Boss K on my Blound would be really, really good. They do play the Scoop Up Net build, so they could have <laughs> donked my Jirachi. I guess we don't know for sure they're playing for Scoop Up Net, but I guess they could be. Here it comes back down. Once again, the, the pings, and in, in this situation, the, the pings don't really matter. They're doing uh, 180 damage. So that kind of KOs anything on my board. Uh, and even if I put down like a Cram or Zacian or anything, they're pretty close to knocking out those as well. So the pings in this situation don't really matter. I guess like the one thing to ping, that would be good to ping from them would actually be my Zacian. They discard the Marnie. Okay. So no Marnie <clears throat> from my opponent on the next turn. Uh, but if I had Zacian, they probably would have Marnied me, right? That's the thing. Like, if I do Zacian, if I got Zacian there with the Quick Ball instead, Zacian for seven card hand, they're probably like, eh, that's a pretty good hand. What about a Marnie? And I'm like, oh, all right. Man, what about a Marnie? And I actually get Marnie anyways, right? So that's probably how that would go. If I had used Zacian, I probably do just get Marnied. So. Okay. Dread End makes its way. I don't know if I want to send up Jirachi here, but I feel like I really do. We have so many Switch cards left in the deck. It's so likely we hit one. And we could always sell a wish into one. But I want to find stuff like Oracorio even maybe to draw more cards. Um, I think I will... And I will keep the cram around. I think the cram could definitely be useful at some point. Draw some cards. They're not very good cards. <laughs> These are like subpar cards. All right, let's calm here. We don't need the cram anytime soon. I think we are going after, well, you know what they say. Sometimes Oracorio is prized. Man, I might quick ball. For we need like, I want to hit for more than... 50 damage <laughs> get a blown, and then i think i'm gonna quick ball for a crobat here giving up a welder which we can get back with net on the mewtwo yeah because i don't just want to sit out here and be like all right boss me and then they boss me i was like i was just joking man um there's a net so we can hit for 100 here which is not great but i feel like if i just sit here they can just boss chaos and then we have to work that much harder on the next turn for a one hit ko so i feel like just hitting them is correct here put the pressure on them a little bit um, even though our, our draw, our, our hand is just not that great. Uh, <laughs> it's not that great at all. Um, biggest thing here is just that lack of Oracorio. The Oracorio draw would have been sick. And then we have it for next turn as well. Of course, it just keeps building up from there. You have it every single turn after that. Um, but for them to take knockouts back to back, they do have to go turn to VMAX into a turn to VMAX. So this block can KO this VMAX. And then we should get a big one hit KO on the next VMAX. And then we should be chilling. Uh, I guess they could have something like a Hoopa in here that could like take a knockout on Jirachi. Which would be pretty annoying, actually, to like switch up the prize trade on us a little bit. Then we have to work to KO the Blown, um, which we could use the Cramorant to KO Blown, at, or the Hoopa, actually, to be honest. If uh, that should work out, like if they go KO Blown, then we go KO this, uh, and then they go KO. Well, I guess they go KO Hoopa. That, but then we have a uh, Blown already set up, so that would that would work out fine, I think, overall. Uh, and with our current hand, it's not lining up too poorly to use just Dead Age Change, to be honest. Like if we don't draw too many important cards off the Welder in the top deck. Uh, we could just go quick ball Jirachi Dede change or even like quick ball one of the cards we welder into <clears throat> bench the other Jirachi because it's sometimes just nice to have two Jirachi in play and then Dede change like that. That would be just like kind of fine. Um, I'm just going to blazer. Kind of blown. <laughs> are they afk i'm gonna give them a chance to come back let's let's say i do that's what i'm doing here giving them a chance to return to the game so i don't just get a dub on a disconnect um which it maybe is maybe my opponent has disconnected here we'll uh we'll see here in a second but i'll give them a chance to come back i'll just go ahead and blazer for the turn okay they're still here go ahead knock i'll give them we're back we're back i don't think they intentionally chose to pass there they probably uh had to go milk the cow or something um that's maybe it oh the hoopa lineup okay i get why they goon pinged this now because they can hoop and knock 
but then they attached here so it's not gonna work out anymore i guess they could still like goon ping three times this blown and then use the hoop to ko the blown but if they'd actually goon pinged well hang on they got one more goon ping and put the energy here they could have killed it um but yeah maybe they had to go you know milk the cow or something so that's fine my opponent's back now um, i have to remember dark city actually gives crowbat free retreat which can actually be relevant so i can go like jirachi Stella wish scoop up net send up crowbat retreat to jirachi Stella wish switch or scoop up net again that actually is like a relevant play so i gotta remember that um all right fire crystal welder is going to be our initial play here we'll see what we draw once again no oracorio stinks very stinky to not have that available catch this here um then we have access to four energy which is not enough we're a little bit short so i think we just have to dead change here yeah, I think we just have to dead change here. We're once again losing a lot of... Well, I mean, this is our last welder. <laughs> this is our last welder. But it's fine. Because we have you two. Or are just going to save us. Ooh, uh, it's fine. I'm not a huge fan of keeping around Cramorant anymore. I think, I think we maybe let the Cramorant go. Keep the Quick Ball. What does the Quick Ball even get us anymore? better we have five uh oh five is enough actually so we have the knockout we just have to decide what to get rid of here and we have a cell to work with but we need a scoop of net to do that i think we have to get the crammer here because we need the quick wall to fi help find blown we are getting a blown off the prize cards for sure but if they marty us we want more outs to the blowns i think in the deck than the other so selwish scoop of net perfect mewtwo put the thing back on top chilling pay with the mewtwo mewtwo put the welder on top and switch and knock out yeah we have enough for a second i thought i was still one short so i was like "Ooh, all right this is getting close but we have enough chilling goodbye eternatus low prize cards i think we'll take the blown here so i don't have to quick ball because depending on what i draw off my prize cards i might just not want a quick ball um so i think we'll take the blown off the prize cards here and then probably my opponent has to go with eternatus v max this turn they could use the hoopa like i was saying the hoopa is actually kind of annoying but if they attack with hoopa we should be able to kill that with the blown uh, and then we should have to do one, once again oh, what, that big knockout to close out the game on and return to VMAX. Um, so I'm sure they'll just card all their Zigzagoons here. Um, I guess they could get rid of Crobats as well. Whatever they want to do is fine with me. Uh, I wonder, have they once again <laughs> gone AFK? <laughs> we'll see. It's going to start just carding random Pokemon, I think, at this point. I actually don't know how that works. Maybe they're thinking about it. Maybe they were thinking about what is the correct Pokemon to discard there. I think you should get rid of the goons because those can be Cramorant sniped later. But, but I guess they don't know I don't play Zigzagoon, so they probably should get rid of Crobats, to be honest, because they don't know I play Zigzagoon. And this definitely doesn't feel random, so it feels like they've chosen. All right, so, ooh, really good one. We're taking the blounds. We want more outs to blounds. And Fire Energy's not bad. It's not Oracorio, though. I don't know if you guys knew that, but Fire Energy, not Oracorio which is what we would like to have seen there for sure is an Oracorio. So maybe I shouldn't have given up Cramorant though, because now I can like hit this. But then if they retreat it to the bench, it's going to be hard to KO, right? So maybe I should have kept the Cramorant around, discarded the Quick Ball instead. Off the hearth, discard the Quick Ball off the hearth. Yeah, so I'm just already starting to regret that, to be honest. I mean, so their Hoopa could, I mean, they would need a lot of Goon Pings, but they could theoretically find enough Goon Pings for the Hoopa to KO my Blown. And then if they do Hoopa KO something else, that's fine. But here comes a goon down. So they need their last three nets. If they even play four nets, they might not even play four scoop up nets. Um, but they would need all that, uh, all those nets. And then they would have to go Hoopa KO this Blown to put us in a really bad spot. If they don't do that, then we're, we're fine. If they do do that, then we're in a worse spot. But not terrible. Not terrible. I think the biggest thing here is that we just don't have uh, raw power to work with comes a net okay so they use the net or oh, they have to put it back down if they don't put it back down then i guess they could still okay they put it back down so it's impossible for them to use hoopa to kill this plus have on which means they have to use a turn which means you could just go blown blown kill a turn or we go blown hit a turn they go hoopa kill a jirachi and then i go boss kill the turn on the next turn theoretically it won't always 100 work out that way for us but it could theoretically work out that way for us which would put us in a pretty good spot i was saying they don't marnie us which i think is fine because they know the welders on top but they did just see me take the blind out of the prize cards which I would have marnied if I like I revealed one prize card with Blazer there. It was the Blown. I saw that. I'd be like, mm, I knew you, you just took one of your prize cards. I'm, I don't want you to have that prize card because you took that prize card. Um, 
and we don't have any other draw support left in the deck it plays a, a dedene only one dedene usually like tempos are and stuff plays like two dedene but this deck plays one dedene one crobat one zation one oracorio um the oracorio is prized the zation we can't use in the middle of our turn we have the welder on top so that could draw us enough good cards to actually close out this game on the next turn but i think it's a little bit unlikely <laughs> like we would need to get like fire crystal energy retrieval or something plus a switch card i mean we do have a stellar wish to work with as well so it's possible um and then like i said they have to use the turns on the following turn so then we can just hit with another blind theoretically would have been nice to have the cramorant around though i probably should not have discarded the cramorant i probably should have discarded the quick ball because i would have guaranteed we could go cramorant next turn chaos no matter where it is make it that much easier should have discarded the quick ball off the hearth kept the crammy around because also cramorant's a little bit more efficient of an attacker than a blacephalon when you're only trying to do like 150 damage which is probably what we're going to try and be doing on the next turn so if i i think i just want to go ahead and do this first and once again i'm getting rid of this quick ball anyways now it is possible i win this turn it's just unlikely but we'll see what the, we only have a 14 card deck left so like if it happened it wouldn't be the most ridiculous thing Ooh, uh it's not happening we got the boss though fire crystal good one we actually could switch still wish and switch again so we actually aren't done yet hold up so i wish energy retreat. okay that's a dub <laughs> i didn't think we we're gonna get it this turn but sometimes lucky and it works out here as we get this dub over the eternatus vmax congratulations we've done it blounds are back it's crazy i haven't played this deck in so long feels the exact same though blounds taking big ko's on pokemon worth more prize cards than themselves uh to get the dubs <laughs> that's gonna do it for this video today i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys are excited as, as excited as i am that blounds are back um and i'll uh wait for my opponent to, i'm not gonna wait for my opponent to discard their bench guys i'll see you tomorrow